Thank you for your interest in our video. Today we want to introduce the prostate cancer and its signaling pathways, diagnostics markers and targeted therapies to give you an idea that how important it is to optimize early diagnosis and develop targeted drugs. Prostate cancer is generally a slow-growing disease and the majority of men with low-grade prostate cancer live for many years without symptoms. It is the most common cancer among men just after skin cancer. Besides, it is treatable if diagnosed early, before it spreads and if symptoms appear, they include problems with urination. Therefore, regular screening is the best way to detect it in good time. Several factors can affect a person's chance of getting cancer of the prostate. Prostate cancer is rare in men younger than 40, but the chance of having prostate cancer rises rapidly after age 50. This disease occurs more often in African American men and in Caribbean men of African ancestry than in men of other races. Prostate cancer is most common in North America, Northwestern Europe, Australia, and on Caribbean islands. The reasons for this are not clear, but lifestyle differences, diet, etc., are likely to be important as well. In addition, it seems to run in some families, which suggests that in some cases there may be an inherited or genetic factor. Several inherited gene changes may raise prostate cancer risk, but they probably account for only a small percentage of cases overall. A prostatectomy usually leads to an excellent prognosis with low risk of death from prostate cancer after surgery. However, deregulated production and secretion of growth factors by stromal cells within the prostate cancer microenvironment as well as mutations in androgen signaling pathway components and further physiological modifications, including angiogenesis, local migration, invasion, intravasation, circulation, and extravasation of the tumor, potentially lead to systemic recurrence of the cancer, including the appearance of focal tumor in advanced stage. Therefore, optimizing early diagnosis and developing targeted therapy of prostate cancer are the key to improving the benefit of screening and the survival rate of patients. At present, the main molecular signaling pathways of prostate cancer including androgen receptor mediated signaling pathway, NF kappa B signaling pathway, RTK signaling pathway, JAK slash STAT signaling pathway and WNT signaling pathway. The AR signaling is vital for normal functioning of the prostate and initiation and maintenance of spermatogenesis. At the same time, deregulated AR signaling is common during prostate cancer development and castrate resistant prostate cancer progression due to overexpression of AR rising due to amplification slash mutations coactivator and core repressor modifications aberrant activation slash post translational modification altered steroidogenesis and generation of AR splice variants aberrant activation of AR also occurs via alterations in the steroidogenesis pathways which permits prostate cancer cells to bypass testosterone and utilize adrenal androgens to generate functionally potent DHT. We provide various antibodies testosterone, AR and other main targets in AR-mediated signaling pathway of prostate cancer to help our clients research and meet their goals. Free NF-kappa B dimer could enter the nucleus bind to kappa B enhancer sites in the DNA and activate transcription of a wide array of genes participating in the immune and inflammatory response, cell growth, adhesion, metastasis, and apoptosis of vision. In prostate tumor cells, NF-kappa B is found frequently stimulated due to augmented levels of receptors. NF-kappa B also targets a transcription regulatory element of the prostate-specific antigen PSA, a vital marker for development and progression of prostate cancer. NF-kappa B signaling in prostate cancer cells also correlates with cancer progression, chemo resistance, and PSA recurrence. Besides, its activation contributes to soft tissue or bone metastasis in prostate cancer. Furthermore, P65 of NF-kappa B could increase endogenous R expression and its associated downstream target genes enhancing growth and survival in human prostate cancer cells. With years of experience, our scientists can offer high-quality antibodies targeting NF-kappa B signaling pathway in prostate cancer to meet our clients' demands precisely. RTK signaling pathway has two major signaling pathway branches, PX-AKT and RAS-MOP pathways. PX-AKT pathway, a chief intracellular signal transduction mechanism that links diverse classes of membrane receptors essentially plays a central role in cellular quiescence, cell growth, proliferation, differentiation, motility, survival and angiogenesis. In prostate cancer cells, aberrant PX-AKT pathway disturbs the action of ERKs thereby favoring our independent growth. 
Congruently Arkansas target genes might impede PX-AKT pathway to favor R-dependent growth, invasion and metastasis in prostate cancer cells. MOPC signaling links extracellular signals to the machinery that controls fundamental cellular processes such as growth, proliferation, differentiation, migration, apoptosis and transformation. Potential drug targets and diagnostic biomarkers in the signaling pathway include RTKs, ERK, 10, AKT, BEG, etc., and Creative Biolabs provides high-quality antibodies to these targets. jack stat pathway is an imperative and pleiotropic membrane-to-nucleus cascade that transduces multitude of signals for normal development, cellular homeostasis, cell proliferation, differentiation, migration and apoptosis following stimulation by a wide variety of stimuli including reactive oxygen species, cytokines, and growth factors. In the nucleus, stats bind to specific sequences in the DNA to stimulate or suppress transcription of target genes. In addition, activation of STAT3 in prostate cancer cells also stimulates various other genes that are associated with cell cycle progression, anti-apoptosis, angiogenesis and tumor invasion. Components of jak stat pathway specifically PJAK1 and PSTAT3 function as predictors of biochemical relapse and poor prognosis of prostate cancer. We are pleased to use our extensive experience and advanced platform to offer the most qualified antibody products in jak stat signaling pathway of prostate cancer, like EELS, JAK1, JAK2, STAT3, to satisfy each demand from our customers. jak stat pathway is an imperative and pleiotropic membrane-to-nucleus cascade that transduces multitude of signals for normal development, cellular homeostasis, cell proliferation, differentiation, migration and apoptosis following stimulation by a wide variety of stimuli including reactive oxygen species, cytokines, and growth factors. In the nucleus, stats bind to specific sequences in the DNA to stimulate or suppress transcription of target genes. In addition, activation of STAT3 in prostate cancer cells also stimulates various other genes that are associated with cell cycle progression, anti-apoptosis, angiogenesis and tumor invasion. Components of jak stat pathway specifically PJAK1 and PSTAT3 function as predictors of biochemical relapse and poor prognosis of prostate cancer. We are pleased to use our extensive experience and advanced platform to offer the most qualified antibody products in jak stat signaling pathway of prostate cancer, like EELS, JAK1, JAK2, STAT3, to satisfy each demand from our customers. WNT slash beta catenin pathway is a highly conserved developmental signaling pathway comprising of secreted glycoproteins that play a vital role in tissue homeostasis, cell proliferation, differentiation, migration, and epithelial mesenchymal communications, polarity and asymmetric cell division. Free beta catenin accumulates in the paranuclear region and ultimately interact with lymphoid enhancer factor or T cell factor in the DNA to stimulate transcription of various target genes. Increased expression of beta-catenin occurs quite commonly in prostate cancer and is associated with growth, proliferation and metastasis of prostate cancer cells. Creative Biolabs also provides dozens of target antibodies and WNT signaling pathway of prostate cancer with fairly good sensitivity and specificity. The table lists targets on the main signaling pathways in prostate cancer, and our scientists can provide you with far more than a list of target antibodies. Since the introduction of serum prostate-specific antigen screening of asymptomatic populations, prostate cancer incidence rates have increased dramatically, as has the number of men undergoing radical prostatectomy and radiation therapy for this disease. However, false positives for PSA continue to be a significant problem resulting in unnecessary biopsies. Currently, there are no markers that differentiate clinically relevant from clinically benign disease. Better indicators of prostate cancer presence and progression are needed to avoid unnecessary treatment, predict disease course, and develop more effective therapy. A variety of putative prostate cancer markers have been described in human serum, urine, seminal fluid, and histological specimens. These markers exhibit varying capacities to detect prostate cancer and to predict disease course. The table shows molecular markers that could be used as candidate biomarkers for prostate cancer. The molecular pathogenesis of prostate cancer is very complex, its occurrence, development and metastasis are closely related to the abnormality of various gene mutations and cell signaling pathways which provide a number of potential key targets for the treatment of prostate cancer. Major components of cell signaling pathways, such as the receptor tyrosine kinases, 
AR pathway proteins and other major signaling cascades. Targeted agents, listed in orange boxes, in the picture include those in clinical use, colored in red, and those in preclinical or early phase development, colored in green, for the treatment of advanced stage prostate cancer. Besides the targeted therapy for signaling pathways, there are some other targeted therapies for prostate cancer, such as therapeutic cancer vaccines and autologous cellular immunotherapy. For example, Cipilusil T is a first autologous active cellular immunotherapy approved by FDA generated through the in vitro stimulation of the patient's own peripheral blood mononuclear cells obtained by Luke Ferrisis that recently demonstrated a significant improvement in overall survival in advanced prostate cancer patients and was well tolerated. Whether or not it is through utilizing cytotoxic chemotherapy, small molecule inhibitors, monoclonal antibodies or programming adaptive immunity, we are entering a new era of precision medicine which will improve survival for patients. As the preferred supplier for global customers, Creative Biolabs are confident to provide you with first-class services covering a full range of applications. If you have any need for antibodies, please contact us. We will be in 100% of the effort and offer 100 points of the products.